Hi, have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, please click the subscribe button right now. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the warning signals of nutrient deficiency. But first of all, why do you have nutrient deficiency? It could be for any of these reasons. Number one, it could be because you have damaged guts leading to malabsorption syndrome. Your guts linings have been damaged, so your body is not absorbing nutrients. Another reason why you could be having certain nutrient deficiencies could be because of the lack of bile the bile helps to pull in the fat soluble vitamins the vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k if you are also not eating nutrient dense food most probably you will also have nutrient deficiencies and lastly if you are consuming lots of refined foods and sugars that deplete your body of nutrients this will also result in nutrient deficiencies so if you have number one you have white spots on your nails this most probably is pointing to the fact that that you have zinc deficiency so you need to reduce your levels of sugar intake because sugar depletes the body of zinc if at the corners of your mouth you have cracks this is a clear indication that you need to increase intake of B vitamins and vitamin D bleeding gums points to vitamin C deficiency a lot of people know this already so increase your intake of vegetables and fruits if you're having it difficult to drive at night having poor night vision you need to increase your intake of vitamin A. Vitamin A, a very good source is cod liver oil. Chronic cough, you need to increase your intake of calcium lactate. Calcium lactate relaxes the throat and the larynx and prevents spasms in this area. So by increasing the levels of calcium lactate, it can really help to reduce or to completely eliminate chronic cough. Angina. If you have angina, which is a pain in the chest that radiates to your arms and also to the back, causing spasms in this area, you need to increase your intake of tocotrienols. Tocotrienols is the most potent form of natural vitamin E. If you discover that you have pitting edema at the extremities, your lower legs, you need to increase potassium intake. If you are always having low back pain and your back is kind of stiff, this can be pointing to the fact that you are deficient in vitamin D. A lot of people are deficient in vitamin D, a lot of people and they do not know. So if you have stiff and low back pain, increase your intake of vitamin D. Leg and calf cramps most probably is as a result of lack of electrolytes, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. So when you notice some of these signals in the body, they are pointing to the fact that you need to increase intake of all these vitamins and minerals so that state of balance is created in the body. If this video has been helpful, I would like you to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.